Hi, today we're going to learn about the blue marble shader. Let's first look at the objects we're going to use. The flat plane and a rounded cube. And let's open up the material editor and right click the color shader icon and get a list of available color shaders. Let's choose the blue marble shader. Let's open up the properties. The blue marble shader is a 3D procedural shader that produces a striated surface and preset shades of blue. And it looks pretty similar to marble and it only has two variables which you can change. There's a scale variable. Increasing it makes the scale to texture bigger. And decreasing it makes it smaller. Like so. We also have the detail setting over here, which affects the detail of the pattern. As you can see, if we decrease it down to like one or two, the detail becomes very little. And increasing it slowly by slowly adds more and more detail to our pattern. We can easily apply this to our object. And then can apply it to our flat plane, and let's do a render to see what it looks like. We're going to learn how to use the marble shader in the next tutorial, and that one will have more color controls and other controls which we can use to make the marble coloring more suitable for our purposes, whatever that might be. As you can see, it looks pretty nice with a nice fractal pattern. And we'll learn more about the other stuff in the following tutorial. Hi, today we're going to learn about the marble shader. Let's first look at the objects we're going to use. The flat plane and the rounded cube. Let's look at the material editor. Let's look at the list of color shaders and let's choose the marble shader. Now let's open the properties. And as you can see from the properties, many of these properties are the same as we had for the blue marble shader. But now we have some extra variables that we can change. We have the ground color, which affects the color of the ground part of the marble shader. So let's make that blue. You can see that updates in preview window over there. And the vein color affects the color of the veins. So let's make that one red. You can see updates over there. What the scale setting does is it affects how large the pattern is. So by increasing it, make the pattern larger, and by decreasing it, make the pattern smaller. And then what the detail variable does, it affects the detail of the pattern. Increasing up to 10 makes it much more detailed than it would be if it was at 0. So you can see that increasing it slowly by slowly, you get more and more detail in the pattern. Now, for the vein contrast variable, what that does is it affects the contrast of veins. So increasing it makes the veins much more contrasty. As you can see, the veins pinkish color over there gets more and more obvious as we increase this. And it becomes less contrasty when we decrease it. What the grain setting does affects how grainy the texture looks. So increasing it makes a lot of little dots show up in our texture. And decreasing it makes it go away. We also change the grain scale. This affects the scale of the grain, so increasing it makes the grain dots much larger. So we increase this all the way up, become very blurry, and decreasing it lowers that. Let's apply it to our object and see what it looks like. You can see you have this very nice fractal pattern on our rounded cube object over here. We can easily make a different version of it with different colors for our ground. Let's apply it, and let's do a render of our scene. As you can see, we can use the marble shader for a lot of different purposes. And over here, we've been able to generate a nice colored fractal pattern for our rounded cube and for our flat plane. You can use it for also generating other kind of textures, like for clouds, or for tree textures, or even bark, or even dirt. So just let your imagination run wild and see what you can come up with it by changing some of the variations in the parameters.